Hi, good day everyone and welcome to this video where I explain four really easy exercises that everyone can do to relieve pain coming from sciatica, a slipped or herniated disc or any pain in the sciatic area or the sacroiliac area in the lower back. Um, I've been working as a yoga and movement teacher for the past 12 years in Australia, the Netherlands and in Israel uh, and in India, I can't forget. And um, I uh, teach vinyasa classes, but I work a lot with uh, people that uh, uh, actually would like to heal through yoga, so have somewhat of body uh, limitations. And um, I work with uh, pregnant women as well, pre and postnatal. And uh, this has led me to these four very, very simple exercises that don't necessarily come from the yoga world, but have proven to instantly relieve pain. So many of my students actually had pain for a year or longer and since they started these exercises they're pain free. So I'm very very happy to share them with you so that hopefully we can all work towards uh, a pain free day. Uh, so to start we're going to start on the back. So you can just lie on your back on a mat or on a blanket on the floor. It doesn't really matter with your knees in. Your knees are about hip width apart and the edges of your feet are parallel to the sides of the mat or to anything that's straight. Head is relaxed, arms are relaxed and I would like to emphasize here that we're really not looking for isolation, for uh, gripping, for contracting or for overly stretching the muscle. We're looking for release. So what you're doing is you're releasing the knees to the right side, not fully dumping the weight into gravity, but working with gravity and then into the left side. And in the meantime, you just keep a steady, elongated breath. And just like the wipers of the bus, sweep or wipe your legs from side to side. You can do this anything between one minute to 20 minutes, depending how much it relieves your pain and how happy you are with the exercise and you can actually enjoy a little bit of abdominal work here as well without contracting the abdominal wall. So just remember everything needs to stay released. Never forget the breath. All right. And then the next exercise, we can come up for this one. You need a block, a book or maybe a staircase. So I'm using a block here as you see. And I'm going to stand on this thing that hires me. You really get benefit from having something to hold so you're steady. Now I'm standing on the block with my right leg and I let my left leg really hang, give in to gravity. Now try not to dump your weight into the right knee, just keep it a little bit bent, everything nicely open. So in order to keep the fluid, the fluid and the prana, the life force, the breath, uh, the oxygen in, our body flowing through the whole body, we want to keep our joints open. So allow the head, le the leg really to hang and just sway front and back. Again, no gripping off the buttocks of the glutes, no gripping off the abdominal wall. You can go slow, you can go a little faster, but again, you're giving into gravity. Your left leg really hangs, your hips are not aligned, you keep a steady breath and you're working really with least effort as possible. Swinging the leg front and back, not bending too much in the back leg, so rather nothing like, nothing like this. This just might go to the knee, just keep the leg straight as possible, not locked, swaying from one to the other side. And of course, everything you do on one side, you want to be doing on the other as well. Um, although if your pain uh, sits more on one side, you might benefit more doing a little bit longer on that side, obviously. All right. Now, as you see, you can really do these exercises in a few minutes a day. And if you have longer time, you take them because you've already had two demonstrated. And the third one is a basic swaying of your hips from side to side. So you can start a little bit like this windmill kind of idea, shifting weight from one to the other side, bending one leg and then the other, allowing the arms to sway. And then maybe with the time, even bringing a little bit of circles in the hips. Yeah, circling around, allowing the arms to follow, the knees to be soft, the breath to be steady, 
and going into the other direction. So you're basically exploring all the edges of your feet by circling. All right, and then last, but definitely not la uh, least, is walking like a noble horse. You can do this throughout your ho home. You can just walk like that for the whole day if you're at home doing your laundry or <laughs> the things you do at home. <laughs> and walking like a noble horse means picking up our leg really high, but it's more like a swing up rather than a grip up. So allowing to swing up, right knee to left shoulder, left knee to right shoulder. Right knee to left shoulder, left knee to right shoulder. So you're basically walking and crossing your feet, as you see. I'll sort of show you from the back as well. And just think of a noble horse. So everything else is straight. Your torso is straight. You want to keep your head above the pelvis. And just bringing one leg across to the other shoulder and kind of crossing your legs while you walk. Now these four exercises really can help you go through your day pain-free. So I strongly recommend trying them. Let me know how you go with it. You can always, through this channel, let me know. Um, and I wish you a pain-free pain -free future with this.